Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Player Sky Variant, and we have the Venom designed by Hitoshi Kondo. I'm looking forward uh, into getting this. I do have the Spider Man right here, which uh, this is a great figure. Uh, overall, design is great, just not the torso because every time you do certain poses, it leaves a gap right there or in the front. Hopefully, this is not a case for this particular Venom. And I got mine from Tatsu Hobby. I'll provide the link down below if you are interested. And let's take a look at this. Nice box art as always. We got this, uh, got all that slime or whatever uh, Venom has. It's not, well, it's kind of like it's webbing. <laughs> and inside, get this. Open up. Here we go. Really cool looking. I like that uh, design on him. We got that silver, purple highlights. <clears throat> we have an alternate uh, face along with the tongue. Quite great. Uh, we seems to have like a bit of webbings there as well. Uh, we got this right here. You can pause the video if you want and uh, take a look or read the text. Moving on to the back here. We got more uh, different poses. Yep. And I think that's pretty much it for the box. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open it up and continue the review. Here we go, we have them side by side. They're about the same height, roughly about 10 inch. And another thing I've noticed is the body. Uh, normally Venom is portrayed as this big guy, very muscular. You know, not, not as big as Hulk, but uh, you know, substantially big. Maybe as big as Rhino, maybe? But yeah, he, he has a big body, but for this particular sculpt, it is still substantially big. I mean, you can see his bicep here compared to uh, Spider-Man and even the legs. So there is some built uh, or bulk to him, just not much. As, mu which, or as much as a lot of people like myself would want to. But then again, that <laughs> if they do that with Player Sky, that's gonna be quite expensive it's gonna be probably 120 or 140 although well, player's guys price are been uh, going up anyways um just a quick observation on that part but yeah um, it looks great I'm very menacing as I've mentioned before and uh, let's go over articulation all right so here we go and along with articulation we're gonna look at the details uh, first off, let's just go over the color scheme. Really nice. You got that black and silver contrast uh, with uh, purple shading, as you can see here. There are some blue parts here as well. Yep, especially the forehead right there. The fingers. Just really nice. And I like the sculpt. It's really cool. Uh, I like how they, or what they uh, or did with this one. Yep, Mr. Kondo did well. <laughs> Alright, so articulation-wise, uh, we have the head here. And you have this giant uh, neck muscles here. That's crazy design there. Um, There's one thing I've noticed though. Uh, this side here on the left, there's a huge gap there. And on the other side, not much. Something tells me that for some weird reason, my figure got warped. Uh, his mask got shifted more on towards right. I'm not sure if that's the same for all of them or maybe it's just mine, but that is something that I've noticed on my figure. So, despite that huge gap there, it's not too bad, especially if you raise the arm like this. So, we got the shoulder joint, it's one of the new ones. Where it's angled here, you got the giant bull joint, and it does not swivel, but it makes it more of a stable shoulder uh, connection point, and I really like that. You got your bicep swivel here. It doesn't really deter much from the overall look of the shoulder. It's nice, uh, a little bit limited, but not too bad. Then you have your elbow here. Your typical elbow. Um, in terms of uh, the gaps, it's fairly uh, decent. 
Yep. Then you have your wrist joint. You have your hand here. Nicely sculpted. Same thing on the other side. Although this one, I have a little bit of trouble moving up. And I, I think that's what it is. This whole thing might have to figure out a way to shift the whole mass to the other side. <laughs> Maybe when they put this on, on this whatever skeleton inside, it was just too shifted on the right side of him. That's unfortunate. Alright, so I went ahead and checked inside. Maybe I can shift some of the chest area here up more to the left. Unfortunately, there's not enough. It's placed correctly inside. Yeah, I'm just not sure if maybe it, it is uh, the mold issue or something. But there is some limitation when you raise this arm here. Eh, it still works, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, you have uh, the typical hinge and ball joint, or maybe more prevalent on the new ones. Um, you do have uh, quite a bit of an up crunch there. Uh, there is still a gap on the back, but it's not so bad as Spider-Man's. Because when you ship this back, it does not get caught. There is still a bit of a gap there, but in a certain poses, you're probably not going to see that. So it's not too bad. Moving on, we have the waist here, and you got that bowl joint. Not too bad, although sometimes I find that uh, this torso here is slanted. <laughs> you just gotta play around with it. Then you got your typical play arts uh, waist, which is just floating. And uh, it's always been like that. This helps when you're moving the uh, waist around or the legs. Get the ravaging joint, not too bad. Although he can uh, do a high kick, maybe a back kick will work. Yep, you got that uh, movable tie swivel here, which is great for certain poses. And you have your knee here. Kind of wish the gray is a little darker. There we go, or they just Probably best if they just pick black, but um, I guess certain parts of him has that gray color. It's not too bad, and uh, that knee armor just sits right in the, or slightly higher than the middle, and it's actually not yeah not too bad. Again, I'm just new, not too fun of certain uh, knee joint or or elbow that if it's too long it looks unreal. So this one, yeah, not too bad. Moving on, we have the ankle here. It's just your another joint. Then you have your toe joint as well here. Yep. Overall, the articulation is great. I like it. I mean, certain parts could have been better. <laughs> and certain molds could have been better too. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. Uh, let's go over the accessories. Alright, accessory wise, uh, we do have an alternate uh, face or head right here. Uh, he looks more menacing. Um, I want to point out that when I first got this, uh, the tongue here, it's actually really stiff. I thought you cannot move it, it was just fixed. But when you uh, exercise long enough, you're able to move the tongue. It is actually connected on a straight peg right there. And you can just remove it and you can have a movable jaw. I mean, there's a gap there for the peg connection, but if you want to choose to do that, you can pop this back in. There we go. <laughs> and let's put this on. Also, I want to point out that this neck here kind of is shoved down a little bit. Actually, let me just do this off camera. There we go, and get that neck joint right there. Alright, just bear with me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, notice that this neck is kind of pushed all, all the way in. Which is actually not bad because we had... Well, I had complaints. My own complaint before of neck being too long. 
So I guess uh, that's one way to fix it. There we go. It looks very menacing and more venom-like. That's the venom we know. Got his tongue sticking out. Very menacing. All right, moving on. So aside from those hands, we have closed fist for punching. <laughs> And uh, we also have a variety of hands with tendrils on them. So uh, the first set is this one here. You get uh, a substantial length right here. Quite nice. And you have another one, which is only for the left, which is a lot longer. So uh, this one kind of has more of a, I guess, when it attaches to something. Or maybe when you can post this where it attaches to Spider-Man. You know, from uh, this angle here. There we go. And uh, let me put them on and see how it looks for Venom. Here we go. <laughs> Unexpected Spider-Man. Alright. So yeah, uh, the, the tendrils is a great uh, gimmick. I really like it. Unfortunately, there is no web sling um, for Venom. I mean, when he has a, a bit of a Spider-Man, he does, he does kind of use that. Or when they have the Spider-Man symbiote, uh, or part of him. Well, when he's, uh, when Spider-Man is the host. So it's not this version. And for the most part, Venom, um, he just uses brute force. He has a lot of strength. And he does have that trend or uh, whatever. The thing that oozes out of his body to grab his opponent. Yeah. Yeah, overall, this is a great figure. I highly recommend getting it, especially if you're a big fan of Venom. And again, the design might kind of turn off some people. Some people prefer to have a bigger body Venom, but for me, yeah, it's not too bad. I like it. Uh, there's still also a, fl a few flaws, and it's the luck of the draw. And um, mine, particularly, is the torso. It's more shifted to the right. It doesn't really bug me as much, and as you can see, you can barely see that there's you know, gaps here and there. It's not too bad. But if you do have uh, some issues, um, Tatsu Hobby will gladly help you out. Um, they've helped me out with a few of uh, unfortunate Blair Sky that I had. I'm so lucky with them. <laughs> I always get something that there's something wrong with it. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for the review. Again, got mine from Tatsu Hobby. I'll provide the link down below if you are interested. Yeah, great figure. Highly recommend getting it. Not so much for Spidey, unless uh, you really like Spider-Man. I actually really like the design, but just a figure, the torso does hinder quite a bit um, in terms of um, considering a really great uh, player Sky. But yeah, it just depends on your what your taste is in terms of the design. Yeah, <laughs> more than often, player Sky is kind of hit and miss, hit or miss. Anyways, that's about it for this review. If you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.